and we're live. Hi everyone, this is MH Gamer, and I'll be returning to RLTK11. So yes, I'll be putting the Liu Bei campaign for RLTK10 on hold for a bit. We'll continue with the scenarios. So we beat the first star, one star difficulty. Next one, we'll be fighting Guan Du. Basically, destroy Yuan Sao's forces. I don't know if it's his own forces or like all, all of his forces. Uh, let's see. So basically, this is a major campaign for Cao Cao who wished to control the north. It's a major battle between him and Yuan Sao. Can he defeat the supposedly stronger and more experienced of forces under Yuan Sao? Once we know about where Yuan Sao's uh, supplies are kept, at least the location, uh, victory and defeat could change at an instant. So historically what happened was Yuan Sao's numbers were was pretty numerous and what changed the tide was basically well, we'll get to it. Everyone, Yuan Sao has led his large force across Wanghe. I actually, I just don't know what the English names are. And they have arrived at Guangdu. As it seems, it seems like he wished to have a decisive battle against us. Do we have any countermeasures? Yuan Sao's forces might be large, but their officers are ordinary or useless. If we sent our trained soldiers and talented officers, we will have no issues defeating them. But if we have an extended fight, Our side, due to not having sufficient supplies, it would be unfavorable for us. Therefore, we need to attack them with our whole might. Indeed, but there. Archer towers can be a problem. Do we have any good counters to it? Then we shall use our catapult. Just let me and Lydian take care of it. We can deal with those arch towers. Then we'll be counting on you, Liu Hua. I think it's Hua. Then all forces head out. Yuan Sao. Uh, Cao Cao's uh, supply seems to be not very filling. They don't seem to have enough supplies. So instead of trying to have a decisive battle now, Why not just cautiously defend this and wait until... Why not cautiously wait? Actually, no. To be... Our best strategy would be watch and wait. But wait. Tenfo, how could you say this? What are you up to? Yuan Sao is fighting for righteousness and 
and should be taking victory by his head and shouldn't be the, the weaklings who wait until the enemy are the enemies who are wipe themselves out indeed as you saw I have to fight this battle personally uh, throw Tifo into the prison after we have achieve victory that we shall dictate we're gonna what we're gonna do with him uh please excuse me for being a straight arrow but I actually agree with Tim Fong's idea a swift battle will be more ideal for the enemy and and yet an extended fight favors our side this is quite obvious right now it's not the time to talk about pride and egos if we wait until their forces run out of supplies then you will naturally win how dare you not only Tianfu even you dare to Find errors in my ways. I don't care what, we will be moving forward. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but basically throw both of them into prison. We have finished our preparation. Good. All forces move forward. We shall crush the enemy in one go. Oh, we don't have a lot of... Okay, I keep... Uh, we have 9 turns. That's a lot, actually. Okay. So we have this, which will boost... I wish I could see how far they can move. <laughs> uh, what's this? Fort. Okay, yeah, they have two. Okay. This might take a couple of tries. I do want to be within range of this to benefit from it. So, as I was saying, historically what happened was they were able to find... Because Yunsa has such a large force, he needed a place to keep his supplies. And they were able to raid it, which, you know, if you don't have food, your soldiers aren't going to be able to fight very well. And then, the problem with Yuan Sao is, he has some talented officers, but like, his strategists spend more time fighting each other than trying to make sure Yuan Sao actually get ahead, and that actually kind of counterproductive, as you can imagine. Okay, we lost the tower. I don't know how aggressive I need to be. Uh, what do I have? I have jumping. Let's push them back. Okay, that didn't do what I hoped it would do.
Send them into the flames. And then let's... I think you could hit that, yes. Yeah, I don't have a lot of other options, unfortunately. This will take a couple tries before I figure out. Damn it. We are about to be out of food. At this point, we might not be able to win. Unless we first fall back to Shutong. Report Shutong's. I don't know how to pronounce most of these names. Uh, has sent someone with a missive. Uh, please look at it. Our forces are. We're basically fighting as a weak side against the strong. If we cannot control them. Uh, they will use their momentum to attack us, therefore, we have to decisively strike at this time. And, Yuen-Sao has a bunch of average useless uh, officers. He is not an opponent of Cao Cao. We just need to apply strategies. On the battlefield, the situation will change. Just be aware of it and act upon it. Something like that. Uh, please excuse me. My, my forces receive word. Receive intel of. Receive intel that's beneficial for our side. It said that Yuen Sao's forces uh, have a transport team nearby. Good. The, the opportunity for victory has appeared. We need to destroy it. All forces uh, target the enemy food. We mustn't let it reach. Want to really? I don't think you can hit that far. Send them into the flames. Okay, that was not what I thought it would do. Yeah, let's target their towers. So we are running low on food, fortunately. Shoot, that wasn't enough. Wait, can you hit it? Okay, we have destroyed their food cart. What? The transport team has been attacked, damn it. What about the food? If this keeps up, my forces will start to death. Uh, Yuen Sao, I have a plan. If we now sneak attack Xu Tang, we'll be able to take it 
and we'll be able to uh, have control over Zhu Di, who is still the Emperor of Han. And then it doesn't matter what strategies Cao Cao used, he will be eliminated. Hmm. He was like, hmm, this plan, indeed. If we attack Xu Tang now, it, it doesn't matter what happens here, we'll be able to win. But, Xu Yu will be credited for it. And this will make my life difficult. It's not good. Uh, Yuan Cao. Xu Yu's strategy is dangerous if there's a slight bit of mistake our forces will be completely eliminated right now we should try to protect Wu Zai's uh, food hmm yes instead of gambling everything on one move we should stabilize the situation here. Yo. Don't. Don't give these kind of theoretical strategies. Right now we need to protect our food supplies. This person. You will go to Wu Zai. And at the same time also check up upon... I think it's Xianyao. I can't remember. Basically the city back there. Yes. Hmm. He's basically saying, I... I have provided you such an incredible opportunity and yet you, you're willing to give up on it. Look like Yuan Sao is incapable of... Trolling... The world. At this point, I might as well go to Cao Cao. Report. Um, I think it's Xu Yu from Nanyang wishes to see you. Xu Yu, is it? Quick, let him come. It's been a long time. I, Xiu has finally seen the idiocy of Yuan Sao. That's why I wish to be part of your forces. Can you, because we were once friends, uh, let me be a part of your forces? You wish to be an ally. Uh, you you mustn't be so courteous. <laughs> like like basically, don't be an outsider. And since you're here, and since you're here, we could assume that he can be defeated. Then. Can, can you tell me why you decide to abandon Yuan Sao? He's like, I I gave the plan of sneak attacking Xu Tang, but he isn't willing to listen. And as a result, I'm disappointing Yuan Sao. Ha, huh, indeed. This is such an opportunity. If Yuan Sao listened to you, my forces would have been crushed. Hmm. Then may I ask, do you have a plan against Yuan Sao? Hmm. For this. Well. Uh, Cao Cao, how much supplies does your side have? He's like, if I include the supplies that had just recently arrived, I could probably last half a year. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Cao Cao. 
You shouldn't try to trick me. From what I see, your supplies might last three months at most. Sorry, I'll be right back. Real life. There always seems to be times when I'm like getting interrupted. You believe that such lies I cannot see through? Ah. <sighs> oh, you see through it. Indeed, Shio, it's as you said. Then, is there a way to deal with it? Yuan Sao has put all of his supplies at Wu Zai. And the officer he sent, the name I don't know, uh, loves to drink. And so the defenses are going to be weak. If you send your best troops sneak attack, within three days, the situation will change vastly. Hmm, indeed. This is indeed the best plan. Okay. Then I will order all forces to sneak attack Wuzai. This place is Xia Houyue's forces will also head out. We'll use this opportunity to crush the enemy officers, but please don't forget that we have to defend Chen Liu. Oh, Cao Cao. This fellow only cares about Yuan Sao. He has forgot about his backline. Liu Bei, this is a good opportunity to attack Cao Cao. Okay, we will head to this. And then you will head to Taliu. What do they have? Chengbing, Jianbing. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> what the hell is that? Let's target that and hit all of them. We get the numbers. Oh, nice! Then we have him. Uh, right, Cao Cao hasn't moved yet. Attack all enemy forces. Uh, let's send him back. Isolate him. And inflict some good damage. You will probably get destroyed? Wait, no, that's mine. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Where am I headed? Ah, shoot. Well, I'm not surprised. You're probably gonna get crushed.
Yeah, the important thing... ...is to inflict a ton of damage here. Maybe I should have focused on that force? Oh well. Too late now. Any attack from there, yes. Can I get a good spot? Not really. I think we have an ability to charge through the... Oh, oh we failed. <laughs> Rip. We will send you back. I don't know how I'm doing. It's hard to tell at the moment. Yeah, we are losing a lot. We're past the halfway mark. Okay, I think I need to destroy this if I want to stand any chance. But I also have to defend that. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Let's first crush you. I may have to replay this looking at the current situation because it's looking real bad. Like, real bad. Okay, they are attacking that city. Okay, I think I screwed up by a lot. Uh, how do I restart it? I probably don't want to push too aggressively because I'm just gonna get outnumbered. But hey, I, I get to skip all the dialogue this time because I don't have to. See, it gets harder. So I need to Yeah, my my mistake was pushing too far forward. And it definitely didn't help. Yeah, the fact that they can
Hmm. It's going to be challenging. I'm I'm trying to remember. There there are a few things to take into account. Oh, that failed, which is really bad. I feel like I have the wrong composition. It's pretty bad. Send you back. Yeah, I need to destroy the food as soon as possible. Can you hit that? I can't get to it. Hmm, okay. Wait, I can actually save? Okay. I think I'll do that. <laughs> because ultimately it's a puzzle, right? Trying to figure out what's the best approach. And honestly, a save to skip all the dialogue will make things a lot faster. I fly through all of these. So maybe I do have to be kind of aggressive early on. So I will save just the one. I shouldn't send cavalry into the forest because a lot of their abilities are... Oh, that's actually really good. The fact that the tower survived and is able to inflict some damage, that is like... That is a win. Really? Let's do that. Really? I'm surprised. But then we'll ugh, that wasn't very favorable. I mean the fact that the tower managed to survive an extra turn. That was amazing. A 
Okay, you are... I'm so confused why you can't... Use your ability there. Really? He's applying... Oh, that is annoying. Can I hit it? That was probably not the best place? Okay. And we'll go through this and I'll make a save. So yeah, apparently destroying this force is not very useful. Yeah, focus on destroying that. Because I think then it really changes. Okay, you can move there, good. Those forces. Oh, I forgot the main force, right? Um, oh man, that that group is not doing much, are they? <laughs> We need to take this out. I don't know if this actually hits everything. No, it doesn't. You attack all the targets. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Yes. I am in a pretty bad spot, to say the very least. I'm trying to keep... Yeah, just attack that. Your your puny force isn't gonna accomplish much, unfortunately. Are they actually fighting it? Three sixty. Okay, 227. We should be able to take it out next turn, but... Oh, I also need to defend that. Okay, we can hit that. That's good. Um...
It's definitely not looking good. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to sugarcoat it. I just need to take this out. And I hope this city survives. Report! Wutai has fallen. Good. As long as we take in and out, our forces will have the advantage. You and self. Like, the society factor will be known. R r report! Wutai has been- Wutai has been taken by Tao forces. What? Damn it! How is that possible? Not possible. Definitely not possible. Go to. What is happening? Uh, I never thought it would be taken. This guy is so useless. Now I just need to find an excuse. Uh, this is all Zhang He and Gao Lan's purposely delaying. Uh, Wu Zai is reinforcing. It's, it's reported that those two have long wanted to surrender to Tao Tao. I'm actually disgusted by their disloyalty. Damn it. Those bastards. If they ever come back, I'll be make sure to take their heads. Gonna have you heard? It said that Wu Zai has blamed the fall of uh, Yuan Sao has blamed the fall of Wu Zai on us two. If we head back, we will probably be blamed. Yes, it's it's probably Guo Tu who has been spreading rumors. Looks like it'll be difficult to clear our names. Given the situation, why don't let's both surrender to Tao Tao? We only have this route left. You're right. Compared to a man who easily listened to rumors, Tao Tao is a much better option. Tao Tao, from now on, we will be fighting for you. Don't know if the city will last long enough. Yeah, oh that this is gonna be bad. This is why I was hesitant to You're still alive. I don't know how, but that's impressive. Oh, you are out of abilities. You can't fire anymore. Perfect. Oh, shoot. You are trapped. And I don't think you could attack right next to them. You are also out of abilities. We might... Actually, it's still too early to tell. <laughs> yeah, they are out of abilities because they don't have the ability points. Um. Wow, <laughs> it's gonna be down to the wire.
Let's destroy your cells force. Or try to. If the city could last one more turn. I I don't know if the city can hold. Oh, this is going to be real close. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. <laughs> Wow, this is real bad. Okay, I think I think I know what I need to do. I think. Uh I'm not gonna replay all of that. Okay, good. Because what I will do differently this time is to do flame attack immediately. Yeah, I don't care about them. I need to destroy this as quickly as possible. Okay, we need to put out the fire. Otherwise, it's gonna be... Oh, you failed. Damn it. Yeah, I want to avoid hitting those two, so. Send them back. Oh, shoot. That is actually really bad. Okay, that... And then of course I didn't get the flame attack. Let's see if I can make something happen here. I'm still a little doubtful. I don't know if I can still take that. I feel like I might need another reload just because... RNG has been pretty bad. Okay, losing that hurts. But luckily it's not the end of the world. Okay, how much damage? Okay. Can you take it out? I wish this city wasn't so poorly defended. Actually, maybe I shouldn't be sending him.
Yeah, if we can focus down urine cells, maybe. So it will fall next turn, like a hundred percent. I guess the question is. It's unfortunately not a very favorable Do I just have to destroy this? Oh wow! <laughs> We're gonna get any closer than that Good, Yersa's forces have been destroyed. Our, s our side is victorious. Geo, this victory is b couldn't happen without you. I cannot thank you enough. I knew you would say this, and and I'm not surprised that Cao Cao would be able to achieve this. Glad you know my contribution. Hmm, of course. And then he's thinking, this person has a bad habit of demanding rewards. Someday he will die because of this. Good. All forces. Uh, per. Pursue the enemy, we will crush what remains of Yuan Cell. Okay, <laughs> I was one turn away from losing. I think if it wasn't for bad luck, I might have been able to take that out sooner, but yeah. This is the difference between one star and two star, and three stars are even worse. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I vaguely recall some of these, they're, they're gonna be bad. <laughs> but hey, I'm gonna end the video here because I don't have time to figure out another one. Each of these are probably gonna take a video for themselves. But I'm honestly fine with that. Anyways, I am going to end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching. And I hope you have a good one.